Now, a North Korean envoy says the regime isn't afraid of any additional sanctions and is planning to continue with its nuclear and missile development programs. Ian Shin has this report. It seems the North is planning to move forward with its nuclear ambitions, despite multiple attempts by the U.S. to expand the sanctions aimed at cutting it off from the global financial system. In an interview with Reuters on Tuesday, Choi Myung-nam, deputy ambassador of the North Korean mission to the United Nations of Geneva, said the regime isn't afraid of additional sanctions and will pursue an acceleration of its nuclear and missile programs. That includes the development of a preemptive first strike capability and an intercontinental ballistic missile. Reuters reported Monday, quoting a senior U.S. official, that Washington is seeking a broad combination of diplomatic and economic measures in response to the threats posed by North Korea. While the White House declined to comment, the range of measures could include secondary sanctions that target companies and banks that do business with North Korea, most of which are Chinese. The U.S. has been stressing the need for tougher approach to Pyongyang. During his visit to Asia last week, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson had warned that the U.S. had not ruled out preemptive strikes against North Korea, though most analysts believe the option is too risky. Tillerson did say the U.S. is considering a wide range of options as part of a new approach to North Korea, but offered few details about what that would entail. Yoon Shin, Arirang News.